Hello Sagittarius, so this is the reading I got for you guys, and happy new years, okay? So for the first two weeks, I got the Six of Pentacles as general energy, I also got the Nine Pentacles, Six of Wands, Justice in the Reverse, I got the Eight of Swords, I got the Two of Cups in the Reverse, and Ten of Cups in the Reverse, along with the King of Cups in the Reverse too, okay? Um, so this is what I'm getting. I'm getting some unfair energy, unjust energy coming through. Um, however, I feel like whatever is just not working, it's kind of meant to be. And I'm not saying like, oh, just give up. I'm just saying that the universe has something way better in store. Okay, that's what I'm getting. And I feel like a lot of guys probably are not seeing eye to eye with a particular person that you had deep feelings for. Okay, um, you. I'm seeing that you tried to make it work before um you know i'm at six of wands so this this does represent some form of victory but i got the justice in the verse so i feel like you felt like it was a victory but in reality it wasn't okay um because probably this person reverted to their bad ways old ways okay um but what i'm seeing is that whatever stuff that has been feeling stuck just know that that stuck energy is going to start moving, okay? Because I feel like it's going to a new direction. It's going to a new life, okay? And most likely without this person, okay? This has been affecting you emotionally. And it could have been affecting your family life. This could have been related to someone that you have family with as well, okay? That's what I'm seeing. Now, the signs. This person might be a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. This person could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, I'm getting Virgo too. Okay, I'm getting Virgo. So it could be a water, air sign, Virgo. Okay. Um, now for the Romance Angel, I got Unrequited Love. Say the miss about your love life, religious factors, and true love. So, yeah, I feel like this situation was really unrequited. And the main reason why it didn't work out, because this was not your person. Like, the universe have better in store. It's kind of like the quote, God rejection is your protection. It's very true. Um, because sometimes you want something really bad, and you manifest it. But in reality, when you get that, you say, I see why it, didn't, it was not working out, why it was taking longer. Okay, and it's it's so when you feel like it's like a no or a rejection, no, that's that's the universe that's protecting you because the universe has something way much better in store for you, and everything happens for a reason. Okay, as cliche, as cliche as it sounds, it does. Okay, and I'm seeing that the universe has something way better, what you can imagine, what you can actually visualize. Okay, um. Now, when I clarify unrequited love, I got seven of cups in reverse. So I feel like a lot of you guys been knew that the situation was unrequited. It's not something that you just found out. It was kind of dishonest. No, I feel like a lot of you guys know that it was one-sided. And when I clarify, stay optimistic about your love life, I got the ten of cups. Okay? I said ten of cups. <laughs> so I got the nine of cups. So you guys are about to get the ten of cups soon. So... With that, with the card trying to say, continue to be in your Sagittarius energy. Sagittarius are the optimistic sign, right? You guys are ruled by Jupiter. You guys are very lucky. So the universe is trying to say, know who you are. Know that you are that bitch or that man, okay? Know that you are that queen, that king. And know that things are going to work for you, okay? Now, when I clarify religious factors, I got the queen of pentacles. So this is definitely going to... um. It's definitely gonna test your faith, okay? But not in a negative way. It's more like the universe trying to say, I got you, I got something way better, okay? Now, when I clarify true love, I got the moon in verse. So this is gonna be something that's not gonna be hidden. So probably you was dealing with a connection that was a secret connection, or this person didn't treat you the way that you should be treated, okay? Um, emotionally. I'm seeing that the person you're going to be connecting with, they're going to be really emotionally available to you, okay? Um, this person might have the same moon sign. Their moon might be in Sagittarius. Their moon might be in Gemini as well. That's what I'm getting. Um, now, for the Oracle spread, I got savoring the positive. 
um, I almost said abundance for some reason, um, boundaries and a flow of partnership. So savoring the positive. Again, what I was trying to say, the universe is trying to say, remain positive. Okay, even though you see stuff not working the way that you want to work, remain positive because the universe got you. And with boundaries, because again, the universe is protecting you from something that's just not for you. And it won't be for your highest interest. Okay, and the universe has something way much better in store with the flow of partnership. Okay, that's really going to be very passionate for you. Okay, that's what I'm pretty much getting. Now, when I clarify the Knight of Pentacles in reverse... I got the Four of Swords in verse, the Page of Pentacles in verse, and the Ace of Wands in verse, okay? So what I'm getting is that you've been going through circles um, pertaining to a love, pertaining to love, pertaining to a situation, okay? Um, it's all, it's like a false start. Something goes and then something doesn't go. And something moves and then doesn't move. That's what I'm getting. Like, you've been going in circles with this situation, okay? Now, when I clarify the Six of Wands and the Justice in Reverse, I got the Cherry in Reverse. So, again, stagnant energy, Empress in Reverse. Somebody's not treating you right, okay? They're not communicating with you, okay? Or you're not communicating with them, okay? It's not happy. You don't feel like you guys are lovers, you guys are friends, okay? And there's a lot of, like, bad energy. Like, so this person might be talking crap about you, like... When they're with their family member, they'd be probably talking sh crap about you, saying that you're not a good person, which is a, probably most likely a lie. When they're with their friends, or if you have mutual friends, it's like this person trying to put you through the mud, okay? That's what I'm pretty much getting. Now, when I clarify the Eight of Swords, I got the Devil in Reverse, the Eight of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. So we got three eights and one part, okay? And then we got the Devil in Reverse, so I can already tell this is something karmic, very karmic, okay? The number eight is a karmic number. The devil, um, and when you look at astrology, um, and when you look at it, um, yeah, astrology, it's represented by Capricorn. And the, when you look, like, with astrology is named by planets, okay? We are mostly using planetary energy. And Capricorn is ruled by the planet of Saturn, Okay, Saturn is that tough teacher, is that karma, is the lessons. Okay, so I can already tell this is a karmic situation. That's why I've been on and off, been in and out, stagnant energy. Women is going for it, women is not. I feel like this is a time where this karmic chain is going to be broken. And it may feel like crap in the beginning. However, this is going to be for your best interest. Okay, it's going to be for your best interest. Whatever that been trying to hold you back trying to not get you to your purpose um you're gonna free yourself from this okay now when i clarify the two of cups in reverse i have the will fortune in reverse with another karmic um symbol the queen of swords in reverse and the page of wands in reverse okay so yeah this is something that i've been really going in circles and i feel like the last two weeks this is going to be the time where the karmic chain is going to be broken okay it may feel like the two of cups in the verse may be like bitter and all that, but it's for your highest interest because the universe got something way much better in store. Now, when I clarify the ten of cups in the verse and the king of cups in the verse, I got the ace of pentacles in the verse, the emperor, and the four of wands. So yeah, it's like the universe got something that's much better. Um, someone who is gonna treat you like the queen, the king that you are, like the emperor and empress that you are. That's gonna be solid, and it's gonna be a new beginning. Okay. This situation, you may feel like it's a like you took a loss, right? You may feel like you took an L, it's a dub, okay, right? But in reality, this is a blessing in disguise because it's gonna bring you to something that's gonna be raw, something that's gonna be stable, something that's gonna be way much better than what you imagined, okay? Now, when I clarify the Six of Pentacles, I got the Three of Pentacles in a verse, Three of Swords, and the um, five of cups in verse. Okay. So yeah, this is something that been hurting you. Okay. Um, because of how on and off the situation is, but it's trying to say, you're going to get over this pain. You're going to get over this situation. You will overcome. Okay. Okay. And that's going to bring that balance by letting this situation go. 
And the interesting thing is with the angel answers, the first card that I got is let go, okay? And I got reconsider. And I also got big happy changes and romance, okay? So it's kind of like, I said this about Aquarius with law of attraction. Sometimes when you want things really bad, it causes more resistance because you don't actually physically see it, but you really want it, so it's creating self-doubt, so it's not making it flow quicker. So I think like the card trying to say is definitely let go, okay? If you try so many times, let go, okay? Reconsider. Try to look at different opportunities outside of this, okay? And with big happy changes, that's how you are going to manifest this happy change in your love life, okay? And I feel like it's most likely changing partners, okay? That's what I'm pretty much getting for you, Sagittarius, okay? Um, so that's the reading that I got for you, Sagittarius. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a personal reading with me at queenfinitarial at gmail.com. And happy New Year's. Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing.